I got this new Ace Magician mini PC to work with my Theta X and I also got a separate SSD so I can do a dual boot with Linux. So let's check out this mini PC. It's using a Ryzen 5700U as the CPU. There's no discrete graphics card in it. And this computer was $269. So it's quite cheap. And the test is to see whether it will work with some common applications. It has 16 gigabytes of memory. It uses USB-C for the power supply. And I actually have it plugged into a MacBook Air as I'm, I'm building this video with the PC itself. It comes with an HDMI cable. The rear of the computer has uh, one HDMI and one display port. It does not come with a display port cable. Um, this is the SATA for the uh, SSD that I'm going to install in. It's a ribbon cable. And it was actually a little tricky to install. So the SATA port and the power, it does work fine. The, the problem I encountered was there's a very small connector after you unscrew the bottom of the case with four screws, which was pretty easy. And in the case, you could uh, upgrade the NVMe storage. Uh, there's also memory, very easy to upgrade. But there's this pretty small ribbon port. And in this video, I have the ribbon upside down, meaning that the blue strip should be on the top. I figured this out later and I had to take apart the computer to reinstall that ribbon cable. It did work, of course, with Windows when I booted it. Uh, just I couldn't see the drive, which I wanted to use to install Ubuntu on it. So it can, I think, function with at least three monitors. I have two monitors connected to the same mini PC. Uh, it's quite good. And here's the external back. I'm also running a video editor on it. This is OpenShot. I was not able to use DaVinci Resolve. I next tried streaming the 4K video feed from the Ricoh Theta X. This is on Linux. And it's using a modified version of libEVC. So the video is coming in very smoothly at 30 frames a second in 4K. So I'm now running it as a device. So I'm putting it to, on Linux, it's dev video zero. And then I tried using OpenCV with Python to test the performance of it with a simple, uh, this is just a resizing using OpenCV. And this is working good. So the Next test, I'm um, using some type of transformation, canny edge detection on some of the video frames using a more complex Python script. It's actually not that long as well. So it's a fairly simple test still yet. This is coming from a single 4K 360 degree live stream camera over USB. It's going to the dev video zero and it's being transformed by OpenCV for candy edge detection, color transformation, and other types of transformations for it. Finally, I also wanted to test the 360 image. I'm using a free viewer called Panini on Linux, and this is a 8K still image from a Ricoh Theta Z1. It's done by the National Park Servers in Carlsbad Cavern. Everything is working very smoothly. Let's be testing Windows, and in particular, I'm gonna to try to set up Unity. 
So the first portion of this was the Unity installation, which actually did take a while. And with Unity also installed Visual Studio, not Visual Studio Code, which is a bit heavier than Visual Studio. However, it did install and there was no problems. It just took uh, several minutes. I'm going to start a new project in Unity with the 3D Core. This is to test the live streaming capability of the Rico Theta X and the Z1. Uh, it's been a while since I've used Unity, so I asked ChatGPT, and shockingly, ChatGPT actually gave me the correct program. I was kind of shocked by this revelation that ChatGPT, or these AIs, can actually now program. Uh, let's create a sphere within Unity. I'm just going to move the camera a little closer to it so we can see the sphere. And the basic concept is that the live stream from the Rico Theta can be thought of like a sphere. So we're going to drop the live stream as a texture on top of the Unity sphere. And this has traditionally been fairly uh, CPU intensive. Um, I think maybe like five or a little bit more years ago, it took a while. So I'm starting Visual Studio which is the heavy one, right? It's not Visual Studio Code and Unity at the same time. I'm also doing a screencast here. The computer seems to be keeping up surprisingly well. It has 16 gigs of RAM. So let's have this pretty rudimentary uh, C-sharp script in here. And I'll put the script in in case anyone wants to use the Theta with Unity as well too. So you just drag and drop the script onto the sphere. So the right panel, the inspector, I have the sphere selected. When I tried to run it, I had an error, and I just remembered that I need to install the free driver for Windows 10, Windows 11 to stream the Rico Theta V, X, and Z1 over into Windows itself. And Rico had kind of changed their site recently, so it took me a, a little while to find the area to actually get the downloadable driver but it's in downloads and then once you find the camera unit that you have it's in the bottom right then you click on the driver it's the same driver for v z1 and x although the interface makes it seem like it's separate it's the same driver and you install the driver and this is just to connect windows 11 and the Rico Theta as a webcam. So let's install the driver first so that we can see Windows as a UVC web camera. And now when I started, I have the live stream. So this is in 4K and it's being projected onto the sphere itself. Because in Unity and any type of 360, video you only see a portion of the 4k stream at a time and also i think uh, i need to adjust the um, the resolution of the preview this is just a preview right so i just wanted to see whether it worked or not this is a, the actual running program and it does appear to work so the preview is a lower resolution than the actual application when you build the application but it's working surprisingly well, and it looks like you could do development on here with a 360 sphere. You probably want to put it as a skybox and not as a as a sphere. If you do use a sphere, you probably want to use an inverted sphere, so you have the view from the inside, um, and the you know it's almost like a, you're inside of the sphere and you project it to the outside. But most people nowadays they use a skybox. And all the X, Y, and Z axis uh, can be adjusted. People are putting this into a headset so that they have a experience 
Um, you can put the camera anywhere. You can also transmit the camera in different ways. For it. So let's also try a more common thing using the official Rico SDK data client. I'm going to compile and run a Flutter application onto an Android phone. I'm using a Google Pixel 4a in this demonstration connected to a Rico Theta camera. So I'll check the devices that I have on Flutter. One of my concerns with this smaller type of computer was whether it would run or compile applications during development pretty quickly or not. And I was expecting it to take much longer based on previous experiences, but when I ran it, um, I did edit the video a little bit. It's running pretty quickly. Uh, and it's also displaying no problem. There's no stuttering. The graphics look pretty good. And it looks like it's a usable system for software development using Flutter or Unity, although I haven't tried more complex Unity with things like, for example, Steam VR. So I built an application as a demo to show different thumbnails. It's loading up more 360 images and I was going to time how long it takes to do a build on it so that I don't have a, just a general feeling that it's fast or not. We actually have some real data here and it took quite a bit less than a minute. So it was surprisingly fast, much faster than I anticipated. I thought it was going to take maybe three minutes or something. You know, obviously I have Flutter installed prior to starting the timer, but I had never run this application before. So I was kind of surprised how fast it was. This is a viewer demo. I'm using the same NPS image here. And you can also load different types of 360 images in here. This is from a game. Uh, it's not from the Rico Theta, but it gives you some ideas of what you can do when you build these type of 360 image applications. 